The premium was on who can do the most creative things. All right, take a trip through the lens of a striving artist in New York City in 1980s nostalgia. Make me famous. It's the director who happens to be born and raised from right here in Kansas City. That is Brian Vincent. Good morning, Brian. Thanks for coming in this morning. Good morning, Micah. I love being here. Thank well, you. Well, welcome home, first of all, to be able to bring this here. This is exciting for it, right? Oh, well, you know, I had always dreamed of playing the movie in Kansas City, but to play in the Nelson Atkins Museum yeah is especially nice because the movie, of course, is all about art. In the 1980s, New York City was broke, and the people that lived there, they got cheap rent, yeah. but they didn't have much of a chance if they were an artist to uh, get rich or famous uh, because the galleries were all struggling. They were really um, were sort of out of uh, energy. Yeah. So what the young people did was that they they performed for each other. This has been shown across the country, and you kind of alluded to it earlier, but what's it like bring it here to Kansas City because you have two showings, one beginning tomorrow night. That's right. Tomorrow is at 7 o'clock, Sunday's at 2 o'clock, and we're just very thankful it's not uh, on, on the Chiefs Saturday. Game, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better go. Everybody should see the movie. It's, a, it's an immersive art experience, and it's intended uh, to be seen in, as a group, and I think you'll really enjoy it. That's why it's been playing seven months in New York, nice. because people like to see it all together. Well, thank you for coming in with us today. My pleasure, thank you. All right, you have a couple of opportunities to catch Make Me Famous. It's at 7 p.m. tomorrow and 2 p.m. on Sunday at the Nelson Atkins Museum of Art. Get tickets on the website.